today we're going to talk about the really the genesis of this series. And Beth, what did you think when I came to you and said that I wanted to start a farm here at the property? What did I think? Um, um, that's probably what I thought. Um, a farm? Okay. We're going to have a farm. <laughs> this genesis out of uh, COVID, it was 2020, um, I believe the spring around March, and everything had just shut down and we started talking. We had a lot of free time. We were talking about kind of projects and what we were going to do with our free time started talking about the shortages that were going on at the grocery stores when you went to the grocery stores and you looked at the shelves and you know the shelves were half empty and we discussed like how great it would be with the land that we have here to be able to grow and support some of our own food and from there it kind of just continued to ste steamroll right Beth it did. It did. And at that point, too, we had a baby who was starting to grow up a little bit. And I think you were looking at Abigail and thinking about the experiences that you had had as a child growing up uh, in the country and having livestock and really having a farm experience and looking at her and contemplating how you were going to maybe share some of that with her. Yeah. So, I mean, it really be sprung out of this idea of um, wanting to provide for the family and having our uh, basically cutting the middleman out and growing our own food and being our own food source. Um, but then, you know, we began talking about other benefits like with our two children and the wanting them to grow up with animals. I mean, we had the dogs and cats, but farm animals and, and having that hobby farm is such a responsibility for kids and such an opportunity for them to be able to take care of the animals, to, to get more involved, to have the resources like with the uh, sheep and cows to be able for the kids to take animals to 4-H. It, it definitely became like part of the thought process is like we really want our kids to be exposed to this lifestyle. Right, Beth? Yeah, for sure. And you kind of coupled that with this idea of leaning back into nature and where our food is coming from. It just sort of started a snowball for us in terms of the idea of what we have in terms of opportunity and what we could make it. Yeah, it's, it, you know, and I go back to my dad just saying all the time, you know, kids who grow up with animals make a better adult. I thought about my experiences with 4-H and how they shaped me and, and the lessons, the life lessons I took out of it into life. And it, it made it a really easy decision to want to do this. So from there, we talked to my brother-in-law, who is also Ben, who is on the show, is a major player on the show, major factor. And we got him involved just saying like, hey, we, we want to build this farm. We need the facilities. Uh, would you be able to do something? 